Hey garden lovers, are you confused about whether to use drip line or drip tape for your garden irrigation? You're not alone. This is one of the most common questions I get from home gardeners looking to water their plants efficiently. Today, I'm going to solve this mystery once and for all, giving you the knowledge to make the perfect choice for your garden setup. We have split this guide into four sections to make it easy for you. In the first part, we'll discuss what a drip line is and its key features. In the second, we'll explore drip tape and what makes it special. In the third section, we'll compare them head to head on critical factors. And in the last part, I'll give my analysis on which option will work best for your specific garden needs. By the end of this video, you'll be confident in choosing the right irrigation solution. What is drip line? Drip line is a flexible tubing with built-in emitters that deliver water directly to your plant's roots. It comes in two main sizes, quarter inch and half inch, each serving different garden needs. Quarter inch drip line is super flexible and perfect for smaller gardens. It works great for runs under 20 to 30 feet, making it ideal for raised beds or compact garden spaces. Its smaller profile means it's less likely to get damaged from foot traffic, and it can easily be lifted off the ground with stabilizer stakes. Many gardeners love that it comes in brown color options that blend naturally with soil and mulch. Half-inch drip line handles longer distances, anything beyond 30 feet. It's slightly less flexible than its smaller cousin, but can still manage soft bends without needing special fittings. One of its standout features is pressure compensation, which ensures even water delivery despite elevation changes in your garden. This larger drip line is actually made from standard poly irrigation tubing, meaning you can expand your system by punching in additional emitters or adding short runs of quarter inch tubing wherever needed. Both types of drip line are built to last, with thicker walls that resist damage from gardening tools and foot traffic. This durability makes drip line perfect for permanent garden installations where you don't want to replace your irrigation system every season. The flexibility allows drip line to snake around plants or form rings around trees and shrubs, directing water exactly where it's needed most. What is drip tape? Drip tape is a thin-walled tubing designed primarily for agricultural use in long straight rows. Despite its name, it's not actually tape. It's a flat tube that becomes round when water pressure fills it, with precisely spaced emitters built right in. The standout feature of drip tape is its efficiency over long distances. Originally created for commercial farming, drip tape excels in straight row gardens where its long run capability shines. It operates at lower pressures, around 10 to 15 PSY, making it perfect for homes with naturally lower water pressure where other systems might struggle. Drip tape comes with an impressive range of spacing options, from as close as 4 inches to as far as 60 inches apart between emitters. This variety lets you match your irrigation precisely to different plant types and spacing needs. The thin walls of drip tape use less material in construction, making it more affordable for covering large areas. Great news for gardeners on a budget with bigger plots. Another advantage of drip tape is its very low flow rate options. This gives dense, clay-heavy soils time to absorb water, instead of creating puddles or runoff. However, this thin construction also means drip tape isn't as durable as drip line. While it can last several seasons with proper care, it's generally considered more temporary and is more susceptible to damage from stones, tools, or careless footsteps. Drip line versus drip tape. Head-to-head -head comparison. Let's compare these options across six key factors that matter most to home gardeners. First, run lengths. Drip tape is the clear winner here, handling much longer distances than drip line. Quarter inch drip line should stay under 30 feet, while half inch can go longer, but still has limitations. Drip tape, designed for agricultural use, can run much further without significant pressure loss, perfect for larger gardens. For flexibility, drip line takes the crown. Quarter-inch drip line can snake around plants and follow curved garden beds with ease. Half-inch offers moderate flexibility with gentle curves. Drip tape, however, needs to run in nearly straight lines when filled with water, limiting its use in creative garden layouts or irregularly shaped beds. Durability strongly favors drip line, 
Its thicker walls stand up to garden tools, foot traffic, and weather exposure much better than drip tape. While drip tape can last a few seasons with care, drip line can serve your garden for many years. This makes drip tape better suited for seasonal gardens that get reconfigured annually, while drip line works for permanent installations. For emitter spacing options, drip tape offers more variety, from very close 4-inch spacing to wider 60-inch gaps. This makes it incredibly versatile for different crop types. Drip line typically comes in fewer standard spacing options, usually 6, 9, or 12 inches apart. Sufficient for many gardens but less customizable than drip tape. Shape versatility is another significant difference. Drip line can form rings around trees or large plants, delivering water in circular patterns where needed. This is particularly useful for fruit trees, shrubs, or specimen plants. Drip tape cannot create these rings as it must maintain straight lines when pressurized. Finally, pressure requirements differ considerably. Drip tape operates efficiently at lower pressures, 10 to 15 PSI, working well for homes with weaker water pressure. Drip line generally requires higher pressure to function properly, especially for longer runs. Half-inch pressure compensating drip line handles gardens with elevation changes, maintaining consistent flow despite pressure variations. Which one is best for your garden? So which option should you choose? Here's my analysis based on different garden scenarios. For raised beds and small garden plots under 30 feet, quarter-inch drip line is your best bet. Its flexibility works wonderfully around tight spaces and various planting patterns. The durability means you can install it once and enjoy worry-free watering for years. It's particularly good for mixed vegetable gardens, where plants might change seasonally, but the overall layout stays similar. If you have a larger landscape with some gentle curves and multiple planting areas, half-inch drip line provides an excellent balance of range and flexibility. Its pressure compensating feature handles slight elevation changes in your yard, and you can expand your system by adding individual emitters where needed. This makes it perfect for established gardens with permanent plantings like perennial beds or foundation landscapes. For straight row vegetable gardens, especially larger ones, Drip tape stands out as the efficient choice. Its long run capability and various spacing options match perfectly with row crops like tomatoes, corn, or beans. Gardeners with heavy clay soils will appreciate drip tape's lower flow rate options, which allow water to soak in gradually without pooling. It's also ideal for seasonal gardens that get replanted annually, where you might want to adjust your irrigation setup each year. Those with very low water pressure should consider drip tape for its ability to function effectively at lower PSI. This can solve frustrating issues with inadequate watering without requiring a pressure pump. Similarly, gardeners on a tight budget covering large areas will find drip tape's lower cost per foot appealing, especially for temporary installations. Remember that proper installation makes all the difference. For drip line, use stakes to secure it in place especially quarter-inch lines that might move around. When installing drip tape, ensure your rows are straight and the ground is relatively smooth. Both systems benefit from a good filter to prevent clogging, but it's especially important with drip tape's smaller emission points. In some gardens, the best approach might be a combination, using half-inch drip line as a main feed line with drip tape running off it for vegetable rows, giving you the flexibility where needed and efficiency for straight sections. Don't be afraid to mix and match based on the unique needs of different areas in your garden. I hope this comparison has cleared up the confusion between drip line and drip tape for your garden irrigation needs. The perfect system is the one that matches your specific garden layout, water conditions, and planting style. If you found this helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe for more practical gardening advice. Drop your questions in the comments. I'd love to hear about your irrigation projects. Happy gardening, everyone.